A letter to my 18 year old self. Dear 18 year old me. Hi Nance, hope you're doing good. Back in time, I'm here to advise you, your future self. A letter to my 18 year old self. Well, first things first, shout out to you for staying away from boys because they're still trash. The love of your life just broke up with you and you feel like crap. But listen, it's not your fault. Cry all you have to cry, let it all out. Focus on the more important relationships like your closer friends and your family. And most importantly, focus on your degree and yourself, girl. You know what they say, no mud, no lotus. Your heart, don't always wear it on your sleeves. Learn to protect yourself without completely shutting people out. Just find that balance. I think you cannot love someone more than you love yourself. You cannot flow from an empty cup. So make sure that your heart and your like within yourself that you are filled with love, with joy, with forgiveness, with all these good things because you can't give that out into the world if you don't have it within yourself. You can't love someone else if you don't love yourself. Don't allow a lot of people into your environment believe in energies energies if you feel like someone's not giving you the right energy makes you twitch nyana nyana little big nyanas move it's okay bruh let it go drop another thing i wish i had known or i wish i had said was don't listen to what other people are saying about you especially about your body you've always known you're beautiful you've always known you're smart and you're talented the only mistake was you stopped listening to that affirming voice in your head and I'm here to tell you that you are always right, and I love you, and you're beautiful. See, loving yourself comes in when the whole world has this definition of beauty. And you are so confused because you might not have been that definition. <laughs> this letter is to you, my 18 year old self, that you are enough, and you're pretty, you're smart, and you're wonderful. You are enough. Don't forget that you do not need validation from anyone. You are beautiful and your clothes are what make you beautiful. Your imperfections are perfect. Always try to put yourself first. So much about you is precious and different from all around you. Thank you because now, at this age, I now have self-confidence because you were able to avoid self-doubt. Thank you for not being embarrassed about what you like. I want you to live your life for you. If you're happy, be happy. If you're upset, show that you're upset. Stop hiding your emotions, basically, is what I want to say. Be friends with people that add to you. Allow people to learn from you. Allow yourself to learn. In as much as you're learning from other people, allow others to learn from you. You know? I love yourself for the way that God has made you. You're going to become such a light in this world that it's going to draw people in because... And people are going to love to be around you because they're so drawn to how true and genuine you are. Be who you are. Your personality is what makes you. It's what makes you unique. Yes, you're confused right now because you're about to enter a new chapter in life, but just hang in there. You need to trust the process. If only you knew that finding yourself and knowing your purpose in life is not an overnight thing. It's not something you learn overnight. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself, girl. You're 18. At that point, you don't even know who you truly, really are, and you're gonna change so much. Not everything's permanent, so stop trying to fix things that have fallen apart. I have to tell her that things will be difficult, and you will have a lot of ups and downs, but even though the downs may seem like it's really heavy and a dark place, your ups will be so much lighter and so much brighter. It's something that you really need to look forward to. We are never rational when we look at our self-evaluations. Remember not to get too high with the highs or too low with the lows. After your best or your lowest moment, either celebrate or sulk the night but then the next morning, you get back to work. There are gonna be many times where you doubt yourself and other people doubt you. You need to take what they say, use it as fuel to drive your efforts so that you can ultimately reach the point that you wanna reach. I wish you had known that your path is so aligned. You spent your whole childhood wondering, why me? Why did I meet these people? Why, what makes me so special? What is my purpose? And you spent all that time thinking you don't deserve any of that when really, you are deserving and whether it was a compliment or an opportunity, you are so worthy of everything. You are so worthy that at 
age 22, something you did in grade 6 helped you. And that's how you know your path was always aligned. The future will work itself out. Whatever is meant to be, will be. But you're going to have really low days and really high days. And you tend to really just focus on the two extremes. But what's really important and how life works is that you need to pay attention to the process and to the days in between. Because ultimately that's what makes up your life. And there's so much in life to be happy about and it's also okay to feel the way that you do sometimes. That you just have to keep strong, stay strong, and always just hope for the best. And try to see the good in everyone, even if they can be really, really sucky people. <laughs> Never make the mistake of looking at things always in a negative way, but to take it as lessons to help me grow, to help me become a better person, to help me become the woman that I want to be one day. Take it easy, to allow myself to go through all the bad and the harsh times in life, but to never make the mistake of allowing it to consume me. You have to choose happiness. You have to actively choose happiness every day. Strive for joy, because Joy is something that will give you happiness in those great moments, but it will also give you light in the darkest moments. And it will help you through your suffering and your pain and everything. Also, it's okay to show vulnerability. It's okay to let other people in. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Because there are people who care about you. I am so happy that you have the strength and this passion to be your true, complete self. It gets better. Like, you just have to keep strong. Stay strong and always just hope for the best. The world is your oyster. Yes, that one. <laughs> so live in the moment, have fun and make memories. If you don't stress, every day could be the best day of your life if you decide to let it be. This is my story, this is your story. You decide what goes on to the next page, how the next chapter starts and how your story ends.